everyone so today i'm going to be doing a huge eyeshadow palette declutter video as you guys know eyeshadow palettes are my favorite makeup item so of course i have quite a few and recently i have gone through a lot and decluttered so if you want to see the palettes i've decluttered just keep watching so the first palette we're going to declutter is unfortunately a ColourPop palette this is the going coconuts palette well this is beautiful I don't really need it. I'm not sure why I bought it. I don't like neutrals, so I have no idea why I got this at all. Like I said, the shades are very pretty, but it's just not something I need. This next palette is the Biddy N ColourPop palette, or Pony's Makeup in ColourPop. This palette is pretty, but it's just not what I thought it was. Online, it looked a little bit different. The glitters are beautiful, but it's just not a palette that I would reach for. I also had to repress the Super Shock that came in it. Overall, I just wasn't really impressed with this palette, and it just wasn't my thing. It was pretty, but I know that there are better palettes out there for me. It just wasn't my cup of tea, if that makes sense. It's very beautiful, but I didn't need it, so I decluttered it next palette that i'm decluttering is the kylie holiday palette this palette is stunning but unfortunately it's just not for me um i do not like the metallic formula it's a really weird formula not a fan of it i, I really only bought this palette for the purple shade so unfortunately it didn't work for me the mattes were amazing though this was definitely one of the better kylie palettes but i personally just did not like the weird metallic formulas they were just like they were smooth, but they just didn't apply properly to the eye, if that makes sense. Plus, the packaging was glittery and it got everywhere. So the next palette that I'm going to declutter is the Good as Gold palette. Now, why this is stunning, I mean, the butterflies are cute. The packaging is cute when you open it up. It has the butterfly. This is very cute, but it's just not a palette that I need personally. Like, I just don't see myself using this color story much as much as i do love it i just know that there's someone out there who would get more use out of it so i am going to be decluttering this another palette that i decluttered was the fenty beauty number no. seven palette this is like a army type of palette now i definitely in the photos thought it was way more green tone like that one brown i thought it had a bit more of a green tone to it whereas in person it's literally just a brown i love the yellow and i love the dark navy but honestly for the price i did not need this palette this was a really splurge of the moment buy so i'm decluttering it because i know that i will never use this i wanted to see if it was close to subculture it is a little bit but i just do not need this palette so i declutter it the next eyeshadow palette that i'm going to be decluttering is the revolution roxy palette I'm so sorry, Cassie. I know you bought this for me, so I feel really bad, but this palette is honestly bad. Like, I swatched the colors, which is why I wanted this palette, and look at that. They are not pigmented at all. I'm really disappointed in this palette, honestly, because I really, really, really thought I would love it, but the colors are just not good, and the formula is not good. Makeup Revolution is very hit or miss with their formulas, so I understand, but even this metallic just isn't as metallic as it should be in my opinion so yeah unfortunately i'm gonna be decluttering this it's just i can't use it the quality is just not good unfortunately and the last palette that i'm gonna declutter surprisingly is the strawberry dream palette from lunar beauty now this packaging's beautiful which is probably why i've kept it but honestly i just have not used this I don't even think I've done one look with this yet. I might try and do one more look and see if I do want to keep it. But honestly, I've had this for months and I haven't used it. So this is most likely going to be decluttered. The formula is great. Like this shade is one of the most beautiful shades I've ever seen in my life. Which is another reason why I've been keeping this. I just don't see me using this. These shades are beautiful and they are typically up my alley. I just have so many eyeshadow palettes, so this is a potential declutter for next time. I mean, it just come with a really big mirror, and the packaging is beautiful, so this is one of those palettes where I'm not sure. I'm hoping that if I do a look with it, maybe I'll like it, but this is a potential declutter for next time. So the next palette that I'm decluttering is the Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop. I had this for a few months, and I never even touched it. It took me forever to even swatch it. It looks so pretty, and the packaging's adorable. But honestly, I just do not see myself using this. I much prefer the Orange You Glad palette compared to this one. It just wasn't for me. I just think it's just... The, it, the formula is amazing. It just really isn't for me, which is why I decluttered it. It swatched beautifully. And when I did use it, it was beautiful. But I just didn't need it. So I decided to declutter it. 
So the next palettes that I'm going to clutter are these two small tart ones. I just really don't need them and I'm not going to use them. They are all shimmer shades. They're beautiful, like they really are, but I just don't see a point in keeping them if I'm not going to use them. I have so many other eyeshadow palettes and I know a friend or two who would love these. This packaging is gorgeous and is why I was going to keep these palettes, but honestly, I cannot justify keeping stuff just for the packaging. And they're just not colors that I would use anyways. So I definitely know my friends are going to like these. I did get these in PR, so I will be giving these away to my friends. Next, we have a custom ColourPop single eyeshadow palette. My friend Brianna and me went splits on one of the Curated palettes, and these are the shades that she's getting. This is a beautiful, like, more neutral palette with, like, that pop of purple. I think that she is going to love this. These are just not shades for me, and I already got the purple. So this is just a nice neutral palette, so I'm decluttering that to her. Another palette that I'm decluttering is the Jovia's Place Chocolate Palace. Palace? No. <laughs> As I was trying to say, the palette that I'm decluttering is the Jovia's Place Chocolate Palette. There was an error in my order. They sent me this palette when I ordered the Berries palette. So I basically got this one for free. But it's just a neutral palette with a lot of brown tones. So it's not for me. I already decluttered it to my friend who buys makeup when for I me saw sometimes. This online, I definitely I like, just didn't oh, need this palette. palette. It is beautiful really for like a neutral it, and palette. I I and when I did first see it, I was like, it, hmm, maybe. Girl, you but no, I am not a neutral girl. It, so, so, like, no, so yeah, I decluttered this palette. Another palette that I decluttered from ColourPop was the California Love palette. This palette is stunning. And Shea XO's swatches wanted me to get this. But I just didn't need it, and I knew my friend would get so much more use out of it, so I actually decluttered it to her. So I'm really excited to see what she does with it. Next, I have two Pixie palettes I'm decluttering. This is the Hello LA Angel palette. I love Pixie, and I'm very blessed to receive PR from them, but I'm just not a neutral girl. They sent me another palette that had purples in it, and I love that, but this I'm going to declutter to a friend because I just honestly don't need it. The formula is actually really good on pixie eyeshadows, and this packaging is gorgeous. I just know it's a palette that I don't need and that one of my friends would love. And then we have this face palette, which unfortunately is too dark for my pale skin. I'm super pale, and I definitely think that one of my friends with a darker complexion than mine that would be able to get use out of this. It's pretty, but it's just not something that I need, so I'm decluttering it. And then we have the Lily Ponds and Tarte palette. They did send this to me. This just isn't my color story. For one, the highlighter is too dark for me. That blush is beautiful though. Um, that purple is really the only shade I like from this palette. This is just not a palette for me. It's beautiful, but it's just not my color story. It's way too neutral for me. Like, I'm basically decu decluttering most of my neutral palettes because I know I won't use them. So yeah, I'm just going to be decluttering this to a friend because I just will not use this. This packaging is beautiful though, but I will not get use out of it. No, I'm just then I'm going through everything to see if there's anything else I think I should declutter, but I think I'm okay. I think that I have gone through everything. And I think that I have decluttered everything that I want to declutter for now. Alright. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my eyeshadow palette declutter. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do. Go follow my Instagram, Makeup by Tasha XO. And very soon we will be having a giveaway, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment down below any video you'd like to see me do. Go, f go follow my Instagram, Makeup by Tasha XO, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.